Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm taking a look at Social Marketing Suite. And what this is, is a new tab builder for building Facebook tabs. Now, a lot of you know that I have created Facebook tab builders before. I used to sell Facebook tab builders. Uh, I don't advocate them that much anymore, uh, just because you know statistics show that Facebook tabs are, aren't that useful unless you're going to actually send traffic to it via Facebook ads. Um, however, some people still want them and some people still want to uh, use them as landing pages for their Facebook ads. So I decided to take a look at this one since I no longer actively promote my own tab builder. I didn't feel there was much of a personal conflict anymore. Okay, so I just logged into Social Marketing Suite and the first thing I'm going to do is probably the first thing a lot of people are going to do is they're going to try to look at the tutorial videos and probably the FAQ. So we are at this moment two hours and 20 minutes away from the product launch and I go ahead and I click on the training video section and it says there are no training videos at this point. Uh, I go ahead and click on the FAQ and it says there is no FAQ at this point. So at this point, uh, which I said is about two hours and 20 minutes from the launch, there is absolutely no help at all for this. There's no training, no teaching you how to use it. Uh, there is this support button. I haven't used it to see if it, it actually gets an in answer, um, but there is no in app training on the usage of this whatsoever at this point. Now I did talk to the product creators and they did say some training would be in by launch. Uh, so I'm going to stop back right before launch and see if they have actually updated this or not. Um, okay, so let's use the app itself. Uh, I did play around with this for about the last half an hour and I think I kind of figured out how to use it. Uh, so I'm going to go to my dashboard and I'm going to create a campaign. Okay, so there's a couple of different templates that it lets me pick from. Uh, so just for, you know, for this example, I'm just going to pick one at random. You know, I'm going to select this one right here, template 12. So I'm going to check the radio box and click on continue. I've got to enter a name. So we'll call it test. Okay, so now they say that this is a drag and drop system, and this is actually the drag and drop editor that I'm on right now. And you can right from the door see the huge problem with this drag and drop editor. Uh, and the problem is it's not a visual editor. What you actually do is you move around these, these drop down boxes in order to build your page. So you can't see what you're building. In order to actually see what you've built, you have to go up here and click the preview button, which it will then load a preview for you, and then you can see what you're building. But you'll notice the preview is not drag and drop. While you can edit some stuff inside the preview, the preview itself isn't drag and drop at all. Um, so that's not so great. The, uh, the drag and drop editor I have found uh, is extremely difficult to use um, just because the only way you can actually drag and drop stuff is when you're in this weird non-visual section right here. Uh, also the drag and drop isn't like really drag and drop. The uh, positioning is really weird. So let me give you an example of what I mean. I'm going to delete this one right here. Okay, so now I've got that product deleted, and let's just say I want to have two here, two products, but I want them evenly spaced. I don't want this big space on the right, so I'll move this one over to the right a little bit and let it go. And you see it constantly just snapped back, so you really can't position things the way you want to. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a relative position. There is no absolute control over the way things are positioned at all. Uh, and even like say, now look, I'm going to add another product image. I want to put one back right there. So I'll just drag this in there. And you can see it's, it's too big originally. So I can't really get it where I want it. I don't want it above. You can see right now it's actually above and it moved the other one down. I don't want it above. I want it right next to it. So how do I do that? Uh, I don't really see any way to resize it. 
So yeah, I actually find this uh, drag and drop builder incredibly cumbersome and difficult to use for multiple reasons. The first is obvious that it's not actually a visual builder, so you can't see what you're building at all. Um, so that is a real pain to begin with. You have to kind of like envision what it's going to look like. Uh, or you have to click the preview and constantly be going back and forth, uh, which is really difficult. Uh, and like I said, it's a very cumbersome. And then the drag and drop interface itself, considering that it's not really drag and drop, it's you know really weird positioning. Like I can't look. I want to move this one down. See this image? I want to move it down next to this one. I can't. It won't let me. Um, I want to make this one smaller so I can put it up next to this. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, and if I try to move it up, it just, it gets weird. I, uh, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's very difficult. It's very cumbersome. It's really not a drag and drop system. Uh, I mean, you are dragging and dropping it, but you have very little control over uh, where the images and where the, the different elements are positioned. You don't have much control at all. And, uh, you know, the big, like I said, the big thing for me is I, I can't see anything. It's you know, it's such a pain. Okay, so I've been messing around with this, trying to, like, actually build a real page for myself, and uh, I've had some difficulty doing it. Uh, so I, I'm just going to go ahead and publish this as a test, uh, the way it is in the template, because, quite honestly, I don't want to keep messing with this thing. Uh, so I'll go ahead and publish, my, publish this tab. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've clicked the publish button and nothing really happened, but there is now an install button here. So it says install on Facebook tweet. I'm going to install it on Facebook um, and it'll let me select my page. I'll pick a test page. Now there are four tabs options that you can choose from. So what this means is that you can only have up to four tabs on any one fan page, which is kind of limiting. Uh, I actually mentioned this to the product creators, and he had said that, well, normally when he builds a system like this, he would only allow one tab. Uh, so four is a great improvement. Uh, four is very reduced over what a lot of other app builders will allow. Uh, usually it's, you know, 10 or more. So I'll go ahead and click one, though, and I'm going to install it. Okay, so now i got a link and it is installed. So let's go see what happens when I click on this link. Okay, so here I am. I'm looking at the tab on my test page and it did install the tab on my test page, but now I want to go back and I want to edit it and I want to possibly delete it. So let me go back and see how I do that. All right, so here I am in the cash to campaign section again and I can see that there is an edit button so I can easily edit it. Uh, although I have to use that very wanky drag and drop pseudo drag and drop builder again uh, I can delete the tab so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the tab I want to show you guys something I'll click the test and I will delete it okay and now it says it has been deleted right so now I'm gonna go back over to my fan page okay so now I here I am back on the fan page let me refresh the screen and you can see it didn't actually delete the tab what it did was it uh, it just removed the app from it. Uh, there, the tab itself hasn't been deleted from what I can see. Um, that's just indicative of poor coding and poor design there because Facebook does provide functionality to delete tabs with their API. Uh, so there is no reason why this should still be on my fan page considering that I have deleted it. Okay, so what is my final opinion on this particular product? Uh, it is incredibly low cost with only a $17 front end. However, you know, it is very difficult to use. It is very cumbersome to set up your pages. It's very cumbersome to build your pages. It is not well designed. It is not truly drag and drop because you can't have much control over the layout of your elements. Um, my suggestion would be that this is not a good value. Uh, just because it's such a pain to use. Um, alrighty, thank you.